Hello, it is Jane here again from Avoda Business Advisory. Just wanting to jump on and do a really quick video about repeating invoices. Uh, this is a quick one, so it should only take a couple minutes. Let's get stuck into it. Uh, so on your dashboard here, um, we just want to go to business and then invoices. Uh, so this is the sales overview of all your invoices. Um, you've got uh, the different statuses for the, the various invoices that you've created. Uh, but for the repeating, um, instead of just hitting new invoice here, you want to click on the drop down arrow and go new repeating invoice. Here we can configure all these fields. So you can change it to repeat monthly or weekly. Um, you know, once a month is going to happen on the same day each month, same as if you went weekly, it might be every two weeks. Um, therefore, the date each time is going to be different. So two weeks from today is, you know, it's going to repeat every Wednesday, um, every second Wednesday, because we've gone every two weeks, or if we do every week, um, it's obviously going to uh, generate every Wednesday um, and you can change that obviously for whatever day you want that to send out on uh, of course you can alter the due date for ours we our, our due date is always seven days after the invoice date um, and of course if you uh, have an end date for your invoicing you can set that as well so if you know you're only going to invoice a client for six months of work, um, you can obviously have that as an end date at six months. Uh, so here you would just do it as a regular invoice. So you type in the um, who you're going to invoice to, um, a reference number if you use that, the branding, um, which you should have set up in your um, branding templates. Um, and just fill this out as required. Discount option. So whatever, just a, just a reminder, whatever you put in here is obviously going to generate, it's going to generate the same every two weeks. Um, so if you're taking someone to the airport every two weeks, this is going to automatically invoice them every two weeks. Um, so we click save. Now, what, um, oh, whoops, silly me, here we go, let's just fill this out. Oh, let me go through this. Um, so you can save as draft, approve or approve for sending. Um, I don't ever worry about these two. Um, I just always go approve for sending. So then you know um, each two weeks it's going to automatically send out to your client. Um, if you want to manually send it, that's when you would tick one of these other options. Okay, so this is where you can set up the email template. Um, you can change, if, you, if you've got other email templates set up in your settings, you can change this. Um, but whatever you change in here will be what the email will say every time moving forward. Um, so you can take out some of the, some of the details if you wanted, for example, um, and make it a bit shorter. Um, anything in brackets is going to automatically populate. All right, include PDF attachment. This is the same as what you would do for a regular invoice. We go done. No invoice attached. It looks like you haven't included an online invoice link PDF attachment. Okay, that's only coming up because I removed the PDF link before, so you won't get that error when um, when you go to send it out. So we just want to double check, right? So we can see that this is in here um, as a repeating invoice and it's will, invoice will be approved and sent. Um, so I just need to clarify. So I've made this today on the 7th of June. Now it is saying the next invoice date is going to be the 21st of June. Now let's go into awaiting payment just to see if it has actually generated so you can see here, it's generated an invoice for today, but
but it hasn't sent out yet. So um, you've got to make sure if you do want that invoice sent out on the day that you created it for repeating, you have to go into it manually and then email out, which is the same as what we did before. All right. And then we know that that has been sent. Now, if we go back, um, let's just click on that again and refresh that. Okay, perhaps because this is a demo, but you will get off to the side here, the little green sent um, once it has, has been sent um, correctly. All right, so um, I can't stress that enough because there's been many times when we've created a repeating invoice and then we go back and we're like, oh, no, it hasn't actually sent. So um, just make sure you always check that awaiting payment to see if it has been sent. All right, um, that's all um, for repeating invoices. If, I've, if you think I've missed anything or you've got any questions, please comment. Uh, and I try and release videos every month or so. Um, if you've got any suggestions on um, help you might need with zero, um, I'd be more than happy to help you. So, uh, yeah, I like making these videos. So please subscribe and comment with any videos you would like to see. Thanks. Bye.